Utopian Chronicles Into the Microverse Episode 10 A New War Begins Some two weeks later, a large funeral was held at the Temple Church for Noma. Noma's family, including Sonoma, was in attendance. Natasha sat next to her bestie and consoled him time after time. Even the king and queen of Anjosica and all of the government was in attendance to honor the little girl who saved them all. After Noma's body was laid to rest, Hugh went to talk to Dottetta, who had distanced himself from the gravesite, as the family, mainly Sonoma, blamed him for Noma's death. Hugh, Da, you must get over the slump. The girl went out with a bang. It's what she wanted. She really wanted it. Dottetta, I can't. So, Sonoma still won't talk to me, right? Hugh, well, unless... He is going to read you your last rites. Then no. Dotetta. Sigh. Hugh. Patting him on the back. Don't worry. The princess will keep him at bay. Besides, our real enemy is the UBA. Terrorist. Once fair, defeated. And can finally get justice for no more. Dotetta. Yes. You're right, Hugh. I promise you. Muggis, you will pay for all of this. After some time, Natasha and Sonoma that night sat on top of a grassy hillside alone to have a heart-to-heart. Natasha, I know that this is hard for you to see her go so soon. Sonoma, Noma wanted me to tell you that she loves you and thanks you for protecting her all this time. So Noma looks at her teary-eyed. Natasha holds his hand and says, I vow that I will never let anyone else that I care about die in front of my eyes ever again. That includes you, Sonoma. I know that no amount of promises or justice on our enemies would bring her back, but I know that she is in heaven right now, looking down, telling you to get up, man, and stop being a crybaby. Sonoma laughs and wipes his tears away. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's no more, right? Natasha. Natasha. Yes, Sonoma. Sonoma. No matter what, I will never leave your side. I will train harder and harder each day. To protect you, as that is my sworn duty. Natasha, Sonoma, Sonoma, you don't have to. Then Sonoma cutting her off says, No, I must do this. Helps her on her feet. I made a pledge to your father. That I would and I shall fulfill my duty. Not only for him, but because it is my will to be your shield and sword. In the battles to come. And beyond. For my late sister, no, our late sisters will. Let's go together and lay the finishing blow to all our enemies. The two then embraced each other and Natasha kissed his cheek. The two of them then went hand in hand toward the castle. A month later, a war council was a war council meeting was on the way to plan the attack on the UBA and the other forces in attendance were all the main leaders of Anjosica and their allies, the leader of the Zephyr, Zen Orange, and the leader of the Sapina, MSC. The king addressed the meaning with Sonoma sitting beside him. The king of Anjosica, I thank you all for coming here. We had long enough enjoyed the peace that we now share for some 25 years. However, foes from our past have returned to threaten that peace. The United Bashur Organization is what they call themselves. To think, a, think my mercy to them would result in actions of terrorism and violence against us. Not even the young are spared 
se não amou, tem a knockdown, sadly. The King of Majorsuka continues in his speech. In order to stop this, stop this threat, and to remember the courage and sacrifice of the late Noma, I am naming our campaign against them, Operation Noma. A bay cheer rang out in the room, and the king looked at Sonoma for his approval of this, and Sonoma nodded his head and smiled on his face. It was finally to him after so long. Then the king continued, the king of Nyonska, like normal before us, we shall land the finishing blow to the UBO and bring a soul to rest. The room erupted in applause. Now there is another. As Natasha and Sonoma alerted me, and you and Dr. Atta too, the other piece, which was destroyed in the microverse, as his own master, this man is the right hand man of the ultimate evil incarnate. He is the leader of the virtually untouched new dimensional plane, which the ultimate evil designed through prayer and fasting has revealed this to me. Still, I know not how he and his forces survived all this while, untouched by time. The he I'm referring to is that of the mighty swordsman, I would say the strongest and best swordsman of all the universe. Chevalier!